Okay. If everybody please rise. I'm going to give a invocation and release your heart and your leaves in the Pledge of Allegiance. Your bow your head with me, please. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us and for loving us. We pray for your continued guidance in our lives and that we have love in our hearts as we enjoy your bounty. This we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please have a seat. Thank you, everybody, for being here. This online. Thank you for being here with us, too. Good to see all the friendly faces out there. First item on the agenda is public comments. I'm not aware of any public comments. Anybody here who wants to make any public comments at this time? Okay, hearing none. Uh, pass on to adoption of the minutes. We have two sets of minutes, September 7th, 2021 special council meeting and September 7th, 2021 regular meeting. Uh, entertain a motion to adopt both the minutes as written unless somebody sees a reason for a change. Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt the minutes, both sets as written. Second. Now, motion a second. And let's go for the conversation. All those approved, say aye. 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 All this approved. All right. so, same time. Okay. It passes. I believe we will have an agenda item to add. This is number nine. Yeah, Mayor, I, I'm, we'll move that we add an agenda item uh, for discussion uh, of changing the uh, start time of the uh, second council meeting, the 7 p.m. council meeting with Elder Cooper. Okay, we have a motion to have a second? Second. And a second. Okay. Um, all the question, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Hearing none. Okay, we have a new agenda item. All right, there's no old business tonight on the new business. First item here is the executive session, uh, future acquisition of land. I entertain a motion to go in the executive session. So, so moved. moved. Second. Okay, motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed, same sign. Here and now we go into executive session. We should be back shortly.
That's okay. Mayor, Mayor, at this time it would be appropriate to adopt a resolution closing out the executive session. Entertain a motion. So moved. Second. All approved. Aye. 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 All opposed. Same sign. None. Mayor, you raise your right hand. Do we, the person who appeared before the unsigned testing officer, do we authorize to administer oath? Mayor Harvey, do you, after being sworn, swear and no stating the following you preside over tonight's meeting of the city council you understand the law requires that any meeting that's open to the public and has a closed portion that the chairperson shall execute the following 50 minutes meeting an affidavit stating under oath that the subject matter of the meeting was devoted to matters allowed by law tonight was entering into an option to purchase to dispose of or lease real estate subject to approval and subsequent public vote being so swear that's all square. All right. Next item on here is Fire Prevention Week. Uh, the Mayor's Proclamation. I'm going to read the blog. Proclamation. I hope I can read it tonight. Uh, Executive Department, City of Centerville, Proclamation, Mayor's Office, 2021 Proclamation. Whereas the City of Centerville is committed to ensuring the safety and security of all those living in and visiting our city, and whereas fire is a serious public safety concern, both locally and nationally, in homes or locations where people are at most significant risk from fire. Whereas home fires killed more than 2,770 people in the United States in 2019, according to the National Fire Protection Association, and the fire departments in the United States responded to 339,500 home fires. And whereas smoke alarms since spoke well before you can, alerting you to danger in the event of a fire in which you may have as little as two minutes to escape safely. And whereas working smoke alarms Cut the risk of dying in reported home fires in half, and whereas Centerville residents should be sure everyone in the home understands the sounds of the alarm and knows how to respond, and whereas Centerville residents who have planned and practiced a fire, a home fire escape plan, are more prepared and will therefore be more likely to survive a fire, and whereas Centerville residents will make sure their smoke and CO alarms meet the needs of all their family members, including those with sensory or physical disabilities, and whereas Centerville first responders are dedicated to reducing the occurrence of home fires and home fire injuries through prevention and protection education, and whereas Centerville residents are responsive to public education matters are better able to take personal steps to increase their safety from fire, especially in their homes, whereas the 2021 Fire Prevention Week theme, learning the sounds of fire safety, effectively serves to remind us that it is important to learn the different sounds of smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. Therefore, I, John R. Harlan, Mayor of Centerville, do hereby proclaim October 3rd to the 9th, 2021, as Fire Prevention Week throughout the city. And I urge all the people of Centerville to learn the sounds of fire safety for Fire Prevention Week 2021 and support the many public safety activities and efforts of Centerville's Fire emergency services. So that's our uh, proclamation there. And <clears throat> you know, the fire department does everything they can to help out there for fire and safety. They uh, can provide fire alarms, I believe. Is that right, Chief? That's right. Right. Fire alarms, and they'll check them for you if you need them checked. So just need to call them. You know, they're there to protect our citizens. They do a wonderful job of it. But we need your help too. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. We got a little PR work to do after the fall festival, Chief. The uh, the whistles that you guys were giving away were not nearly as popular with the parents as they were with the children. <laughs> <laughs> where my booth was located, about eight booths down from the fire station booth, was about the point where the whistles were getting confiscated by the parents once again. That was about as far. I saw a lot of kids get their whistle taken from. <laughs> But you got you had a great show with the guys out there on Saturday. They had a good time. Um, 
All right, item number six here is approval resolution Sonovas Bank accounts, update of signatures. Councilman Wright and City Accountant Harrison, please. Yeah, Mayor, this is just the update of all of our signature cards from Paris accounts, um, amending them to include uh, Councilman Bird so that he can begin the joyous uh, responsibility of council members of signing checks and, uh, and then several other responsibilities there. So I move that we uh, adopt these signature cards and, and go move ahead if necessary. I second that motion. Okay, I have a second. All right. No need for any further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same time. Hear none. It is approved. All right. Item number seven is a resolution Georgia Cities Week. And that's me again. Georgia Cities Week, October 3 to 9, 2021. A resolution of the City of Centerville recognizing Georgia Cities Week, October 3 to 9, 2021, and encouraging all residents to support the celebration and corresponding activities. Whereas city government is the closest to most citizens and the one with the most direct daily impact upon its residents, and whereas city government is administered for and by its citizens and is dependent upon public commitment to and understanding of its responsibilities, and whereas city government officials and employees share responsibility, pass along their understanding of public services and their benefits, and whereas Georgia Cities Week is a very important time to recognize the important role played by city government in our lives, and whereas this week offers an important opportunity to spread the word to all the citizens of Georgia that they can shape and influence this branch of government which is closest to the people, and whereas the Georgia Municipal Association and its member cities have joined together to teach students and other citizens about municipal government through a variety of different projects and information. And whereas Georgia Cities Week offers an important opportunity to convey to all the citizens of Georgia that they can shape and influence government through their civic involvement. I therefore be resolved that the City of Centerville declares October 3 to the 9th, 2021 is Georgia Cities Week. Be it further resolved that the City of Centerville encourages all citizens city government officials and employees to do everything possible to ensure that this week is recognized and celebrated accordingly. I'll entertain a motion to adopt that resolution. So Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt the Georgia City Week Cities Week resolution. Second. I have a motion and a second. No further discussion needed. <clears throat> All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Mr. Mayor, if I could. Resolution passes. I know this is a little bit out of work. Um, I'd like to ask Ms. Hartley if we could to uh, surprise her to, to, to mention or to, to discuss some of the things or just mention some of the things that we're doing during Georgia City's week. Okay, good idea. So as a part of Georgia City's week, one of the initiatives is to share um, city services and city projects that have been happening within the city. And so a couple of those things will be highlighted on our Facebook page over the next week. Um, Center Park at Centerville will be highlighted today. We'll also be highlighting the East um, Church Street project, the lighting project. I will put a tree and walkways through there. Um, we'll also be highlighting the service that the fire department offers, like the front seat checks. Um, those are just a couple of the services that we'll be highlighting on Facebook. On Monday, Councilman Evans did a reading at the Centerville Library. Um, he read What Can a Citizen Do? and explained to the children at the library um, what he does on city council and how city council impacts our local communities. And then unfortunately, we're having to reschedule our coffee at the top again due to the weather. Um, Chief Duncan and I were discussing it. The weather is not favorable for tomorrow, but we look forward to rescheduling that event soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great events that's going on as we sit here. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Item number eight, home-based businesses. Councilman Wright, uh, City Clerk Bedfield. Uh, yes, sir, Mayor. We have uh, in our packets here two applications for home-based businesses, one for uh, Eclipse Refrigeration. That's going to be a commercial refrigeration and cooking equipment uh, service and repair. Looks like they'll be doing all the repairs on site, not doing anything uh, at home. Do we have uh, is Mr. Vaughn here this evening? Thank you for, for being here this evening. Appreciate you coming, uh, being here tonight. And then we also have... Uh, sort of an amended request for tip-top transportation. It's a non-emergency 
Medical Transportation Service. And uh, is Mr. Susan here this evening? I don't know if she's here. So, uh, but it, all of their paperwork has been processed through the city clerk's office. We just uh, want the mayor council to be able to put their eyes on these. And uh, Mayor, I move that we uh, adopt both of these uh, applications with one motion. Shall I have a motion? Have a second? Second. And a second. <clears throat> I'm so pleased to see more businesses coming through the city. I, and I appreciate everybody who goes with this trouble through all of this. All right, call for the motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Hearing none. We have two new business partners in the city of Centerville. All right. Celebration time. Item number nine then was added, and uh, that's to change to uh, discuss the change of uh, time for council meetings on the first Tuesday night of the month. Yeah, I, I have that, Mayor. We, we've been discussing this for a couple of weeks and just failed to put it on the agenda for tonight, but uh, we don't have any action on it tonight because uh, the city attorney's going to have to draft us an ordinance. But uh, I, I think we can we can discuss moving the, uh, the first council meeting of the month that is currently takes place at 7 p.m. We can move it up to 6 p.m. Uh, just the done having just a little anecdotal evidence doesn't make it appear that we have a, a greater attendance at the seven o'clock meeting. We do it at the five o'clock meetings. All we're really accomplishing is keeping the employees here two extra hours uh, to keep them here much later, especially on nights like tonight where we have an executive session and have a busy agenda. So uh, I think uh, moving it up that extra hour, even if you do need to get here for some uh, some business or make comments or something, most folks can get here uh, early enough for the six o'clock meeting. So uh, I think it's certainly worth. Uh, Making that change, I think it's a relatively small change, but I think it'll make a big impact for all of our employees that, that some of them especially that uh, travel a little distance to get home and get them out of here uh, a little sooner. And I, so I'll draft that in the work session. Okay, draft the ordinance and we'll discuss it then and uh, vote on it. Okay, anybody have any more comments on that? That's it. All right, we're down to comments from the council. Post one, please. Uh, just want to. Uh, Thank all the city employees uh, who, and, and everybody who came out to the uh, Fall Festival this past weekend. It was uh, an amazing event, and um, my family enjoyed it. And uh, we have a lot more uh, of these types of event events coming up soon. Uh, yeah, I would just brag on the, the, the city staff and the event staff in particular that put the Fall Festival on. Uh, we participated in a couple of events like that with the city as the church. We had a booth there again this year, and this is probably the smoothest one we've ever, uh, we've ever been involved with. Uh, it helps having the park sort of being planned for events like this. It is definitely, we were using parking lots and other spaces and trying to have events before. And it is nice that this space was sort of tailor-made to do things just like this. I think it's working. Uh, huge crowd for the whole day. Uh, we ran out of everything we took to, to give away. And uh, for us, we were we were doing some, some gift card giveaways, having people sign up. And so we, we made contact with over 200 people that were going to be able to, to reach out to you and sort of invite them to connect with us and so I think it was just it was a, a great event another good one uh a good use of that park we look forward to to many many more of them thank you mayor thank you very much both three well thank you gentlemen for not leaving me anything to say about <laughs> <laughs> the events of the past week but uh I do want to say thank you to all the staff I know the uh the police officers work long hours the public works folks work, work long hours uh, some of the other city staff Work long hours, Ms. Hartley did a great job in you. You know, organizing that and uh, corralling all the cats and everything and Thank making you. things run very smoothly. I really appreciate that. We're looking forward to the uh, lighting Christmas parade coming up in December. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You know, I, I have to repeat the same thing. I mean, I, I'll stay out there with just one of this part of the thing. Uh, Mike Brumfield over there with his team, great team, police, and that. I went by there about 7.30 and the police were out there working away already. And everybody else was out there too. I mean, it's just fire department. I mean, they had a great stand set up out there. Um, guys were wandering around too, which was good. Uh, I, the only thing I can complain about, my wife spent too much money. <laughs> but she had a good time doing it. Well, I spent a little bit too, so I can't say too much about it. <laughs> but just, it's nice to have it. Appreciate our city employees just so much and you know, all the things they do, you know, particularly during this pandemic, they've been, uh, they, they come to work. 
There was no uh, hanging back. They come to work. They find reason to get to work. They do a great job. They make things work. Our courts, uh, court has been, I mean, it's, I know it's been a hassle in a way, but it's been very successful in the court. Um, police on the road have been very successful in what they're doing and protecting our city and making sure everything works well for us. So I think that's it. We've had a good night. Thank you all very much.